Namaste and welcome to A Journey with the Indian Rhythms, episode number two. In this episode number two, we are going to be meeting an amazing musician, John Ball, who is an accomplished santor and tabla artist. And John works for the Sheffield University teaching at Ethnomusicology Department and he trains a lot of students in Indian classical music. And John also runs Indian Music Ensemble of Sheffield University where most of the players are his students who are really talented. And John is going to be talking to us about this amazing instrument called Santo. And over to John. Namaste and greetings. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Vijay. I'm honored to be part of this exciting project, A Journey with Indian Rhythms, a wonderful series hosted by Annapurna Indian Dance Company. In this episode, I will be introducing a very special string instrument called the santur. Santur is part of a family of instruments that exists worldwide. It's variably known as dulcima in zither in Europe and the United States. It's known as yang chin in China. It's known as Cymbalan in the eastern part of Europe, and it's known as Suntur in Iran and in the Indian subcontinent. Suntur is associated with the scenic valley region called Kashmir, below the Himalayan mountains. Many of the beautiful melodies played on it reflect the natural beauty of the Kashmir area. So now let me play for you a short piece of music in a rag called Pahari. So Pahari is played in classical music concerts, but its origins are in the folk music traditions. And it's particularly popular in the northern region of India, including Jammu and Kashmir. Pahari literally means music of the mountains.
I'd now like to share with you some further insights into the St. Claude. Let's look at how it's made up. You can see it's just a wooden box. It's a very unique shape for a musical instrument. And this wooden box, there are between 90 and 100 strings stretched across these 30 wooden bridges. And these strings, they're played with these wooden sticks. We call them hammers or mallets, and they're very uniquely shaped so that your fingers can go through the end there and you control with your thumb. And you can glide across the strings with the sticks. Though St. is most commonly categorized as a melodic instrument, this is also a very rhythmic instrument. We have two sticks to make different kinds of rhythms. And Indian music is very rich in rhythm, and there are ways of expressing that rhythm through language. Taka takita, taka takita, takita takita. But this can also be expressed melodically and through the music. Taka takita, taka takita, takita takita. So I'm thinking rhythmically, but I'm playing the melody to the rhythm. Like this. I will now share with you a short performance of a different rock called Jog. Rock, Jog. And I will be joined in that performance by my student, Ford Collier, who's going to play tabla. And tabla is the main accompaniment instrument for Santor and other Indian melodic instruments in this tradition. And you will be learning more about the tabla in a different episode of A Journey with Indian Rhythm. I would like again to thank Annapurna Indian Dance Company for inviting myself playing the Santur and I hope you've learned something new or something different or been given some insights into the way that this instrument is played and performed and Namaste.